Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This video is from my Brandy Loves Beauty IGTV. For some reason, my OneDrive didn't save the video, so I ended up using the Repost app in order to download the video. The reason why I wanted to post a video here on YouTube because it's one of my favorite videos that I've done. I am in a Instagram chat group called Nail Support and we decided to do this Black Plague theme and you guys know that this is right up my alley because I am all black everything and I filmed this video back on I'm going to say maybe April 17th or 18th. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be using Noob Saibot 2. Moonlight and Basin Top from Manny Mix. I'll be doing two dips of Noob Saibot 2, and I was going through some French tip guides and I ended up picking out the Chevron guides. And I got a little bit of Basin Top on the guide, so it made it a bit tricky removing it. And for this finger, I took like most of the Chevron design off, and I'm going to fix that later. I am participating in another challenge from the nail support group. We decided to do a Black Plague theme. I attempted to freehand the chevron design and I grabbed my toothpick to remove some of the dip before I completely dry. For some reason, the chevron design came out better on my right hand. I am doing three dips of Moonlight from the Adventures to Light collection. I know what you guys are thinking. It looks like Raiden, and it's totally different from Raiden. Raiden 1, it has a yellow tone. And then Raiden 2, it is basically white glitter. And Moonlight, it has a blue undertone to it. I am using Moonlight to fill in the chevron design. She's in love with herself. She... I am using Vivian from Revel Nell and I am using this jar for only the glitter dips. Now it's all hollow I am using the clear dip powder from Double Dipped. I am using that dip powder so I do not get any glitter on my solid dips. I am using the activator from Manny Mix. I am activating the lighter colors first and then the darker colors so they don't bleed. I am using a black gel polish from Enel Couture. I do not remember the polish number. And I'm using some art brushes that I got off of Amazon. And I am using a dotting tool that I purchased from Sally's. I'm going to start by drawing a graveyard. When you think Black Plague, you associate it with death. And I am carefully painting the crosses. So when I lift up my finger, they won't be upside down. And then when I'm done, I am going to cure it for 45 seconds. <laughs> This is my second attempt drawing the Plague Doctor. I didn't like how it looked, so I wiped it off. And that's what I love about gel polish. Yeah, you wanna go out I am using a white gel polish that I purchased off of Amazon, and that is 002. I am using the white gel polish to do some highlights and to fix up the lines.
I am using the black gel polish to fix the chevron designs. Every day is all On my right hand, I am just painting a cross, and I decided to do black blood drops. I don't really know why. I thought it'll look cool. I am using the white gel polish to do some highlights and I skipped on the blood drops because I didn't want to bother with that. I am using the matte top it off from Jealous Mini. Since my dip powder is matte and then the gel polish is shiny, so I decided to use the matte top coat to even it out. I am using the Nail Surface Cleanse from Jealous to wipe away the tack off of the matte top coat. I am using the Tack Free Gel from Revlon Nail and I'm only going to do one coat and I'm going to cure it twice 45 seconds each. I am using Fruitless from Nails Etc and it smells exactly like the cereal. I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. Hey y'all, hit the subscribe button if you think short nails are sexy.